Oh, hey! It's been a while. What's up? In case you're wondering where I've been, college. That, that's that been a thing that's been going on in my life. It explains why I've been gone for so long. These are the years when a man becomes the man he's going to be for the rest of his life. Just be careful who you change into. You're feeling this power of becoming a man. And with this great power comes great responsibility. Uncle Ben. Nothing could ever fill the hole left when he died. Those wounds never really heal. The beautiful redhead is Mary Jane Watson. The guy is Harry Osborne, my best friend. They stuck with me after Uncle Ben died. Harry's dad, Norman, was great, too. He even let Harry and me stay in one of the apartments he owned after we graduated and moved into the city. I got a job with the Daily Bugle, taking pictures of... myself. Life sure is strange sometimes. No matter how much you want to hold on to a moment, you can't stop time from moving on. General Slocum has given Oscorp a week to prove that we can develop a working serum. Or we are going to lose the contract to Quest Labs, given how much we have invested in this research. Losing the contract could bankrupt Oscorp. I can only assume that Spider-Man relates to our problem in some way. <clears throat> yes, uh, Mr. Osborne, as that video showed, Spider-Man possesses all the attributes our project hopes to create. We hypothesize that he has augmented spider DNA in his system and feel certain that an analysis of his blood will enable us to complete our serum. We can modify the hunter killers to track this DNA signature and capture Spider-Man. Do it. Okay, first off... Why did he web his journal to the building? Like, doesn't that leave evidence that he's Spider-Man, Uncle Ben, family connection? Well, if I want to get paid this week, I'd better come up with some photos for Jonah. The city's been quiet, so I guess I'm going to have to settle for some aerial acrobatics. I can get in some practice while I'm at it. I should start with my web breaking. If I jump while I'm swinging, I can totally change direction and start swinging again. Sure thing. Couple of nice shots, but nothing JJ's gonna pay top dollar for. I need to get a little fancier. That target I set up should do the trick. I'll just lock onto it and swing past it a couple of times. In case I haven't already mentioned, the white button locks on. Huh. That was okay. But the shots need more action. This time, after I lock onto the target, I'll shoot some webbing at it. Since I'm locked on, I should be pretty accurate, even though I'm swinging. Do you guys notice in the background, it says chaos? Not bad. That should do it. Peter, if you interrupt me one more time, I'm gonna fuck Aunt May. While you watch. Okay, I have those shots for JJ. Gotta get back to the bugle, collect my money, and get my rent paid. Uh-oh. I don't know what that thing is, but something tells me it isn't friendly. Pretty safe assumption there, Petey. Alright, little tip for you. Do not fight these things. I forgot they were, I forgot what they were called. You are from the future or something these guys are really persistent. Yeah, I forgot what they were called, but don't fight them on the buildings. Fight them in the air. Because they are once once you're like on a building, like say you're trying to get health or webbing, they are a bitch to fight. But yeah, your best bet is just, just to web break a lot and just kick him. Or punch. I prefer to kick him. Yeah, the B button's a little more instinctual. So anyways, while I'm pause for a little bit, while I'm pausing the action, pause without, without pausing. <laughs> but anyways, I thought I'd take this opportunity to tell you guys that I'm going to be writing sketches soon. I had some ideas to write some... Peter, that's it. Yeah, amazing, catch this dick. But yeah, anyways. I plan on writing some sketches for this channel soon, but like I said before, I lack equipment. But thanks to, well, my grandmother lending me her camera every now and then. I'm, I'm working on that, Peter. But anyways, I plan on writing sketches. Peter? 
Okay, but anyways, what I'm trying to say is, I'm gonna write sketches soon, once I have the camera, the, uh, the script, and, like, when there's a nice day outside, because it's fucking raining today. And when I have time, because college has taken up the vast majority of my schedule. So, with that in mind, this game, this channel's not gonna be 100% gaming. Peter? Anyways. <laughs> but yeah, I will be writing, I will be making sketches very soon. I promise that. Alright, so let's just take out these fucking... Oh, you know, I think they're called light mechs. Or heavy killers or something like that. That's the last of them. But who sent them? I did. Because you wouldn't stop fucking interrupting me, Peter! Oh, wait, they're called HKs. I guess they're called heavy killers. Heavy kickers. So I don't know what they're called. They're, they're fucking robots, okay? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, th that level was very easy. Next up, we're gonna have Shocker. And Shocker, he's, <laughs> he's pretty easy. But you'll see. Until next time, I'm Coltrane. Peace.